just got to Lee, Massachusetts. I'm gonna grab something to eat. On my way to Salisbury Center, New York. Hope you guys are having a productive day. McDonald's breakfast is so good. So good. I'm so happy they serve that all day now. I-90 West, we're 15 minutes outside of Albany. I gotta get some work done, so we're heading into the travel station. Let's go. some work here still at the rest area you know these rest areas really need a higher place so you can stand and work because it's not good after you've been driving this whole time to be eating or working or whatever you're doing here sitting down again after you've been on the road come on New York State you're supposed to be progressive <laughs> entrepreneur's journey um, I always try to add value to you guys while I'm on these vlogs so today I actually had somebody reach out to me about land development I'm here in upstate New York on one of the properties I own um, I'm building a cabin up here building a little campground on this side um, a lot of things going on a lot of possibilities with land development I also have the land development channel homescape um, and I think that's where he found me and he sent me some questions he called me on the phone I'm really accessible Click the links down under the videos and you'll see how to get a hold of me. I told him that I'd give him a shout out if he sent me questions because he's kind of like creating the dialogue for my vlog. So um, big shout out to Wade Straight from Straight Shot Exterior. S-T-R-A-I-T-S-H-O-T exterior.com. Um, thanks Wade. So these are the questions that Wade sent. Number one, if you're buying property out of state, do you hire someone to inspect the property prior to the purchase? Well, this depends. Usually the answer is yes. The best answer is you should be out there uh, inspecting the property to make sure you can see with your own eyes. Um, especially with a house that you want to hire a professional or commercial property, any kind of structure that understands, like a professional that understands what he's doing, right? He knows what to look for. He knows where the unexpected cost would be. When you're buying raw land, it's pretty simple, but even then you probably want some kind of professional that tells you um, what the land value is worth. So this is, you might want to call an arborist, 
right, if the property is full of trees to tell you what kind of trees, what kind of value there, maybe a, a gemologist or a mineral, or somebody that deals with some study of the minerals, right, if you're talking about minerals in the land. Um, but generally the answer is yeah, you could hire somebody. Now, if the property is under 500 bucks or 100 bucks and you found it online and you think it's a good flip, it's probably not worth it, right? You're not going to fly out there or go out there and you're probably not going to spend a thousand dollars to have someone go out to the property if you think you're only going to make a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, or if the risk level or the cost of it's only a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. So it really depends, but generally you can hire somebody to go out there. Number two, besides contacting the county, are there any websites or resources for finding raw land investments? Um, yeah, so this comes with, with mining the internet, right? The best land investment, that's anything really. If you're looking for a land investment, if you're looking for a business plan writer, call me. But if you were looking for a business plan writer, if you mine the internet, what I mean by mine the internet, go to Yahoo, go to Google, the search engines, and type in different keywords. Typing in business plan development and business plan writer will you know, result in two totally different search uh, queries. So mining the internet, but Landwatch, I use Landwatch, um, Lands of America, eBay has deals, Homes.com has deals, then local newspapers. So I drive out into some certain counties and places and I definitely go into all the local real estate agent offices, any of the um, magazines that they have that they sell homes and land. And then I contact all the land sellers on Landwatch, Lands of America, Homes.com because sometimes they have deals that they don't post. Um, but really just keeping an eye open for it. Any medium, you know, if you call your local, the local contractors in town or the local real estate agent in town and you tell them what you're looking for, sometimes they have something, they have sellers in the, in the pool that can tell you where better land deals are. So that's one way to find uh, better land deals besides the county website. The county website is a good website for foreclosures and for uh, county owned properties. You'll definitely find that there. All right, number three, what tips do you have when it comes to owner financing a property you own? Um, the biggest thing here is contracts, um, but some of the tips I have is a little bit higher down payments usually weeds out some of the people that aren't serious enough. So if you have a low down payment, like a $50 down payment or $100 down payment, which is possible on some of these $1,000 properties, $2,000 properties, um, what you get is a lot of people that kick tires or that aren't serious. They might spend the first 50 and then they'll disappear. Um, they might be more headache than what it's worth because they want the first 50 back. Um, so good contracts are, are one of my tips. Um, vetting the people that call um, and letting them understand what the property exactly is. So if a property doesn't have electric or it doesn't have a well um, or it does have a well or it does have electric, state that. If it's rocky terrain, state that. If you've never been to the property, state that, right? If you're a flipper, a land flipper, or a land investor, state that. If you're developing properties as you're going along, say that. Um, if you live in and out of the same state, say that. Because the more you disclose to a potential buyer, the less, like, the easier it is for them to make an informed decision, and that's what you want. Um, so that's really the biggest land tip, the tip I have for owner financing. Um, that and, you know, fit yourself into the market. So don't offer owner financing terms that, uh, you know, if you've got 12 people, on, if you have a piece of land in, in uh, North Dakota and there's 12 other people selling a piece of land in North Dakota and everybody's selling them for $199 down, $199 a month, and it's, it's pretty much the same parcel as you, you can't come in at $499 down, $499 a month. Now you can come in, but you're probably not going to sell it, so make sure you price yourself right. I appreciate the questions, Wade. If you guys have questions for anything that I'm familiar with, whether it's land investments, pre-IPO stuff, you guys know I like penny stocks, um, private equity deals, uh, law, uh, definitely business planning. Um, send, me a, a send me an email or put it in the comment section below or give me a call. You'll find my number on some of my websites. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of An Entrepreneur's Journey. Tomorrow I'm going to clear all this space out. We're going to move all this dirt behind me. And I'm going to document that too. Hope you guys are rocking, man. Stay motivated. Woo!